That doesn't KO. Rock Slide's guaranteed to hit now. Oh yeah, Stone Edge is guaranteed to hit too. So this is the team we're going to be using. This is from Timbits. Uh, she built this team and uh, brought it to, I think, 21st at Fort Wayne. So we're going to try it out. I'm actually really excited. I have the Poke Paste here. I'll leave that in the description down below for you guys, uh, since this is not one of my teams. But uh, let's see what we can do today. I want to try to play more Bex Caliber Balance to be familiar with one of the most common archetypes in the format and just get used to running it. So let's see what we can do on the ladder today. Okay. Let's go ahead and go just... Let's just go directly to the ladder. Just right there. Just not even, like, waste time. All right. Double battle. And where's the rental? Here it is. All right, let's do it. That might make it into the video if I don't forget to edit it out. All right. Let's try not to uh, lose this one. Let me pull up the Poke Paste again so I don't forget it. All right, this is pretty cool. It's probably just like Scarf on the... Um, on the Chi Yu. We actually get quite a lot of value out of this Ting Lu then, except it's Terra Grass, which I don't quite like. Uh, but leading off with it isn't that bad, especially if we end up leading off with... Bax is actually pretty decent here. I kind of wish we were Assault Vest, though. That's the only thing. But we can do this. We can do this. Um, I think we get a lot of value out of the Arcanine lead... Plus backs. We definitely want Ting Lu, and I think our last Mon kind of has to be Flutterman. Youngster Jazz, how you doing? Opinion on chocolate bunnies. They're usually hollow on the inside. If they were solid chocolate, I'd be cool with them. They just feel like a ripoff most of the time. And honestly, I'm not... It's gonna be a little bit of a hot take. I, I don't like chocolate that much. I think growing up, I ate way too much of it. Uh, and it made me sick. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. The Baxcalibur lead here, tragic. Tragic. But what you must keep in mind is that this is definitely a Scarf Chi Yu. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go hard into my Ting Lu, make sure that I undo the damage that that, ting, that that Chi Yu is about to do to me, and we are just going to Glaive Rush this thing. Like, it does not belong here, because it doesn't. This Chi Yu does not belong here. I really hope this 5.30 p.m. C4 energy drink isn't going to ruin my sleep cycle. You ever tried dark chocolate? Yeah, I have a few times, and it's not as delectable, but I think it's fine. Uh, I like chocolate in, like, sparing amounts. I don't like just straight-up chocolate. They withdraw the Fluttermane. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. There's the Dox Bun. They're going to go ahead, and they're going to try to burn me with that attack, but I'm just going to take away their Pokemon. Check it out. Check it out. They thought I was going to go for, like, some kind of dragon attack, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, like, a, like a Flare Blitz or something. But here, check it out. Vessel of Ruin. They're going to get their defense boost, but I am going to take away their fish. Their fish privileges are about to be revoked. Their Chiyu privileges revoked. Their day ruined. Lava Plume, that's fine. Don't burn my Ting Lu and I'll be content with this. All right, I get, a, and I, get, I get a nice little attack boost. I get a nice little attack boost. There's a Glay Rush. Goodbye. I know you're Choice Scarf. There's no way you're not Choice Scarf. Silly Goose. Silly Goose. All right. Um, ruined by the Vessel of Ruin. Yes. I love Baxcalibur so much. He's so cool. 
What's that thing from that one Nintendo movie, The Wizard? I love Baxcalibur. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, uh, we do have speed investment on this Dox Bun. So sign that I can just do a Stomping Tantrum into it, as well as um, Icicle Spear. And I'm not really concerned with the Dox Bun. It doesn't really hit us with anything. Yes, Bax is immune to burn. I just didn't want to get burned on my Tinglu. Unless it's like a really, really fast Dox Bun, we should be fine. Yeah, I'm not really concerned about you. Like, I, I Dox Bun hard loses to like... What, what is it called? Doxbun hard loses to um, Fl Fluttermane in the back. So we just have to deal with everything around it, and we're set. As a matter of fact, next turn, I think I always just double attack the Flutter. Let's see if I break that sub with a crit. I hate you, Doxbun. I hate you. All right. Um, they haven't burned their terror yet. I'm just going to go ahead and double attack the uh, the Flutter. I think I always get rid of it, and then I beat this thing. Because Doxbun really can't beat Fluttermane. I think that's its biggest drawback, is that like you have to run Snarl to even deal with this Pokemon that's like ubiquitous. All right. Just double attack it. Ice Shard. This is a bandit eye shard too. It's pretty strong. Yeah, Dox is usually always Terra Steel, but then you just lock Spec Shadow Ball. They go for the Shadow Ball into me. I don't really mind. Pretty sure I tank a Body Press. Yeah, Baxcalibur, you're crazy, dude. You're crazy, dude. How much are you liking Regulation C? Regulation C, I think, is my favorite format yet. I think a lot of people give it flack because they think it's a little bit too much power creep, but I think that it is just the format that allows you the most freedom. Check this out. I'm going to click Fissure. Coward. Absolute coward. I'm going to keep clicking it. I'm going to keep clicking it. I know this Ice Shard breaks your sub. I know it does. I just have to make sure there's no sub up when I bring in my flutter. So this just brings the most pressure because it forces them to either sub or like get KO'd by a possible fissure. Th like this is just the most pressure I can put on. All right, sub again, stinky. Try to sub again. Make like my, make, make like baked potato 2214 and sub. All right, watch. I'm going to land it. He doesn't even know how hard I'm about to land this hit. This is going to be the world's greatest fissure. It will shake him to his core, ruin his faith in this game. Goodbye. Retire. You are no longer burdened with being a Pokemon trainer. Goodbye. <laughs> His faith has been shattered. <laughs> All right. I ate the pretzel dog. Reported for using Fissure. Look, I could have won with the Fluttermane in the back. I just had to prove a point. <laughs> I had to ruin his. I had to ruin his faith in this game. All right. Uh, ooh, <laughs> I'll be honest, uh, Stonejenner plus Flutter is like a legit core I hate facing, and this just seems like the natural expansion on that uh, in Regulation C. I don't want to play this game. That being said, 
I have to play this game. Um, the backs lead isn't as good as I'd hope it would be. I think I like always lead off with Ting Lu, unfortunately. Ting Lu, uh, do I get a lot out of Flutter? I don't think I get. I I don't I don't get a lot out of leading Flutter. But I also don't really have like the special defense to deal with this without Ting Lu. We're gonna have to Terra this Ting Lu. I feel it. Let's go ahead and lead off with these guys. I have to I have to make sure I have like a really pressuring lead. Power spot specs overheat is basically just an Oko move. You're so right. You're so right. If I end up losing to the Stone Jenner, congratulations on making it in the video. Congratulations on thumbnail, Stone Jenner. Oh god. No, I I really don't want to have to do this right now, dude. I I've, I've had a long day. I don't want to do this. It, it's been a rough week for me, man. Alright, um, I mean, I can just go for the Stomping Tantrum. I think I go hard Arcanine. It's 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 been a rough week for me. I must pay for my fissure crimes. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait. 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 What am I catching? What is it going to be like? It's going to be Gyarados. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I've intimidated it. Um. And now my for not my not my first impression. Now my stomping tantrum is actually pretty strong into the stone slot. Unless it decides to Terra Flying. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Not great. Not great. How well does Arcanine take this hit? Probably not very well. I'm gonna go for another Stomping t Not into you. I'm gonna go for another Stomping Tantrum into the Stone Jenner. Because if the thing wants to swap in, we're good. Uh, and I think I protect with my arc. I believe in Ting Lu. Let's go. Let's go. Stone Jenner, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna regret you're gonna regret existing in a second. Check this out. It's gonna be decent damage. Okay, that didn't do nearly as much as that. I thought I was going to do at least half, even after that Intimidate. TBH. I thought I was going to do at least half. Um, Assuming he wants to body press a second time, let's actually make this switch, and this is actually fairly good. Yes, I'm wasting my booster energy, but also, like, they're in trouble because Stone Jenner doesn't have good special defense, and I can just, like, sub up on it. It's also intimidating. They would have to double the Ting Lu to KO it. And even if they go for Waterfall, it's still like, it's still a bulky flutter. The Ting Lu has 44 attack investment. It's mainly defensive. I think it's just enough for like the, uh, can I eat this please? Ooh, tell me you didn't double. Okay, well that sucks. Huh. How do I cope? I can go right back into Arcanine and get this Intimidate off. This Stone Jenner is wrecking me. Congratulations on Thumbnail. I have to hold on to this Ting Lu. 100%. I think here I just like attempt a burn and assume I don't get it. And I'm gonna try to Glaive Rush. Right, do I Terra? I could Terra my Arcanine. I think I Terra the Arcanine. And just hope I get this. You will never beat the Stone Jenner allegations. True. Stone Jenner usually runs a lot of attack investment, to be honest. Okay, I'm faster. I can probably tank a... Probably tank a Waterfall. I don't know about the rest of this, though.
That doesn't KO. Rock Slide's guaranteed to hit now. Oh yeah, Stone Edge is guaranteed to hit too. So I have good news and bad news. This The good news is the Gyarados is on a timer. The bad news is uh, Tinglu has no recovery. I think I lose. Yeah, it's gonna be a loss. Two kills for Stone Genner. Dude, this Stone Genner popped off this game. I like, And I respect it. I've lost to Stone Genner in tournament before. It's a scary Pokemon. I knew to respect it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Perigraph? Stonejener will drop in a few turns. Um, not anytime soon, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and protect here. They're probably going to Terra Fairy, to be honest. If we're being real, they're totally going to Terra Fairy here. Nothing can unfissure your Giraffe Rig or your Ferrigaraf. I'm landing this fissure. Papers, how you doing? Thanks for the sub. Ting Lu, annihilate this person's will to live. Ting Lu, you failed me. How could you? How could you fail me, Ting Lu? That's definitely a game. I'm not going to forfeit because I'm just going to play it out. Oh, that KO'd. Cool. I'm going to lose my Arcanine because the thing is a fat HP stat. Oh, I don't. Hold on. Miss? Live? No. All right. Good game. I couldn't beat the Stone Jenner allegations. I couldn't. Yeah. I lose to, uh, <laughs> I lose to the Chi Yu and the, and the Gyarados in the back, unfortunately. Behold, a nasty critical hit. Everything has been damaged. You can't... You can't say that Chi Yu left this game unsca... Oh, he's gonna tear a ghost. He's about to tear a ghost. This Chi Yu's gonna leave this game unscathed. Oh, a Terra Grass. We're good. We're good. Have you considered doing Pokemon Battle Stadium content? I might stream it on the weekend. Terra Blast. Okay, good game. Joke's on you. I have a cool thumbnail now. Joke's on this person. I have a cool thumbnail and they don't. He could have just dark pulled. He just wanted to let me know. He wanted to let me know. It's cool. He let me know. All right. Let us continue. Little big. All right. Um, is this one of my subscribers? I think I think this is one of my subscribers. The the butterfree person. Looks like Parish with 
Sun Offense. So if that's the case, the Fluttermane lead's really good, but also very risky because I'm going to lose my... I'm going to lose a lot of pressure if I get it wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I see no reason for them not to lead off with uh, Gothitel. I think it's just like advantageous for them to do so. My most neutral lead into all of this is probably going to be Arcanine Flutter. We bring these guys in the back. Yeah. Time to turn the tables on the Stone Jenner players by making a Sandaconda team. How does that do anything here? I do want to use Sandaconda. I think Sandaconda is, like, pretty cool. Um, Sand Spit is probably going to be, like, the only, the only like, ability you'd want to run uh, as, like, an anti-weather thing. But it is, it is pretty iffy. Also, we're really close to a hype train. If people want to sub, thank you, Glitz, for the, uh, for the sub. All right, Screamtail Gyarados. Unfortunately, I am burning my booster energy for nothing. Also, it looks like they're not booster energy on the Screamtail, which is great news for me. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. It doesn't pop until later. I forgot. The item pops after the ability. Don't be booster, please. I really appreciate it. Let's go! <laughs> Let me substitute here in case they want to like Thunder Wave, and I'm going to go for the uh, Will-O-Wisp onto the Gyarados since I'm faster. Bayonetta, how you doing? I love this theme so much. Dan's Howl ruins your day if Wisp misses. Did I ask? Did I ask? I, I probably should have. Oh, they're gonna be Terra Fire. They're gonna be Terra Fire, I can feel it. Or maybe they're just like Terra Steel on the, on the... Ooh, don't be Terra Fire, I'll cry. Okay, there's no need to cry. Um, because I subbed. Because I subbed. As long as I don't miss. Do not miss these. Is that KO? My sub? That doesn't KO my sub. That KO'd my sub? You're intimidated! Your attack stat's like 65! Go home! That was also a crazy call out. Okay. Your defense is 55? Yeah, but I mean, like, Fluttermane, like, can invest a lot on living those sort of things. Alright. Draw the Gyarados, that's fine, it's burnt, I'm, I can live with it. Gothitel, cool, I am fine with this. They already burned their Terra. That, alright, that confirms, they only barely got that. They barely got that, bro. Alright, I can prevent Parish Song by doing this, and honestly, I'm just gonna... Give me, give me one reason not to, I shouldn't play Rush, it's just Ice Gold Spirit does like the same.
draw the scream tail. Probably just gonna try to intimidate me. That's fine. Uh, I'm not really concerned because this Gyarados still has to take a Shadow Ball. And if Gothitelle didn't fake out, which it should have, uh, it's gonna. Oh, it didn't fake out. Okay, interesting. Are they gonna trick room me? I, I guess they could trick room me, but I don't know what that accomplishes, to be honest. Maybe Thunder Wave? Okay, I guess they are going to Trick Room. I still don't think that accomplishes much, to be honest. If we're being 100% here. If I'm being 100% real, which I am. I'm always real. Check this out. Cool. I'd imagine they just doubled me. It could iron head the backs too, but it's not going to do that much. Possible ice shard range, but I think they want to iron head the flutter if they're doubling. Yep, nice. Augers. All right, check this out. They have to flinch me now, which they're not gonna. Which Intimidate Mon sounds better right now, Gyarados or Aqua Beat Tauros? They do different things, but I think Gyarados is a better place in the meta game at the moment. No, hello? Did they time out? They had to time out. That only makes sense if they timed out. Alright, well that's within Ice Shard range. Maybe they just forgot. Oh, I got flinched. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. Luckily, I did like nothing. Um, I get the most value out of just doing this. See if they get the flinch again. Oh, they go into back, so that's fine. I don't take too much. Get rid of you. Goodbye. Well, we know the Screamtail's still back there. What's the last Mon? Is it Flutter? Flutter main. Okay. I still have the tools to deal with this. Uh, and we still have a turn of Trick Room, right? We do still have a turn of Trick Room. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna test my luck. I'm gonna Shadow Ball, see if I'm slower than that Flutter main. And we'll just Ice Spear the Screamtail. This should KO, as long as I get... I think four is enough. Yeah, that's enough. And, yeah, I'm not like a super fast Flutter, so I should KO. Oh, they're slower. That's fine, both of my Mons in the back deal with this. 
Oh wait, am I booster energy? No, I'm modest and I'm 116 special attack. There's no way I'm speed boosting. Need to make sure I didn't like mess that up. All right, unfortunately, Tinglu. Unfortunately for them, Tinglu. Okay, for the crime of effing around, I sentence you to finding out. This shouldn't KO. This will. I'm gonna call it here. No, I sentence you to finding out. I'm gonna keep protecting until I get it. I, I don't lose by doing this. For the crime of effing around, I sentence them to finding out. <laughs> I sentence you to finding out. Come on, I know you're like choice specs, right? Yeah. Please find out. I will keep doing this. I will throw the game. I, I will throw this game. I will throw this whole game out the window over this joke. The whole game. Check this out. I landed a will wisp That means I can land the fissure, right? I hope you get crit. Me too. This is the one. I will throw this whole game. The entire game. All right. Well, I mean, Ting Lu dies in the next turn. I have to attack now. Fine. I'll try to fissure. Maybe they'll maybe they'll single target. All right, they did not find out. I wanted to click the funny. That's fine. Whatever. People will say it's toxic. It was. Like I said, I will throw this whole game to get this joke. All right. <laughs> 